Hello everyone and welcome back. Happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. Did you hear that? Good Friday. It is strange, right? Why do we use the word good on a day that it was filled with suffering? It was filled with suffering, exactly. In Georgian, we actually call this day Red Friday. And it makes more sense considering the context. I mean, Christ's pure blood was spilled on this day. So then, what's going on with English speaking uh, people, people yeah. and countries? Like, why are we saying that this was a good Friday? It's actually a really good point. So, with that, let's read today from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 4 and 5. Yeah. Surely our griefs he himself bore, and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was pierced through for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening for our well-being fell upon him. By his scourging we are healed. Again, if you ask me, these are very sad words. And it brings hopelessness in a way. But when you really think about it, when you clearly think about it, and take your time, you understand that it's called good because without Jesus doing this for us, we were all destined for death, death, hell, absolute doom and death. So it is good that Jesus did for us. And even when Peter told, let's go back to the New Testament. When Peter tells Jesus, God forbid that you do this. When Jesus makes a reference of his death, what does Jesus tell him? Get away from me, Satan. It was from Satan. This had to be done. And it was very sad when Jesus died. I'm sure all the disciples, the women that love Jesus, they all felt hopeless. They felt that their world ended. Yeah. Their savior, the man who healed people, who restored blindness. They had all the their blind. hopes on him. Exactly. And then suddenly He's gone. he was taken away from them in such a most horrible yeah. way possible. Crucifixion is no, no joke. Those of you who are studying Roman history or know anything about the ancient world would know how demeaning crucifixion was. No Roman citizen would ever be punished like that. So, and then suddenly, disciples, these women, what they see? Their favorite, beloved person is taken away from them and then killed like that, killed like that. So then why is this a Good Friday? It's good because of the exact same purpose that Jesus, in three days, he would defeat death. He would resurrect and he's offering us. us the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that is good. And we all agree, if he had not done that, we would all be in hell. We would all go through set two deaths. So first death, we will all go through that. And we would have also gone through the second death, which is a spiritual death. And that would be more than bad. Absolutely. So the fact that Jesus suffered for us, and I'm sure he was very grieved. Even Jesus was praying in the garden, not my will be done, but if it's your will, he's telling God the Father, take this cup away from me, right? Yeah. Because he really suffered for us. He did not just die, he suffered. And he knew died. what it meant to go through actual physical, spiritual, and emotional pain. Now, everything that we feel in this world, he felt everything and more. So we will never ever feel like we're alone and nobody understands us. Humankind may not understand you. Mary may not understand my pain. I may not be able to understand Mary, but Christ will because he went through so much worse. Mm -hmm. So he knows everything. He knows you and he loves you. And that's the beauty of not only the gospels, but the Old Testament. What Mary just read from uh, the Bible is from Isaiah. Right? It's hundreds of years before exactly. Jesus was Exactly. This is the Old Testament. And some Christians neglect Old Testament. We like mm -hmm. to focus on the Gospels. And obviously the Gospels are wonderful. Yeah, of tells the story of Jesus Christ. But we need not forget that Christ is through all the pages of the Bible. In, even in the Old Testament, he's there. He's God. We hear him speak. And not to mention, everything that we see... Everything that is bound to happen leads to the fact that Christ is to mm -hmm. suffer. And that starts from Genesis. That starts from fall. Soon as Adam and Eve messed up, Christ was coming in. He was already part of the plan. And that is, that is the whole purpose.
purpose of our life and so which brings us back to a good friday right so yes it is good and yes it is red so both are correct mm -hmm. red because he spilled his blood for us but i also like good friday i yeah. like that we emphasize the fact that it is good because Jesus did not just die and it ended there. No, this was just a precursor of what it would happen, was which was come. resurrection was the whole point. Mm -hmm. That should have happened and it did happen. And he rose from the dead and he's offering us the same thing. And it's Good Friday because Jesus' death had to happen for resurrection to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So it is good because resurrection is good. Yeah. And we know that Jesus suffered for us. And when we read these words, we should all the more want to abandon our sins, right? Because he suffered for us. So that should also strengthen us to study his word more, dive into it more, and always discuss it. And exactly. it's a good Friday. So Isaiah chapter 53, mm -hmm. uh, just putting it out there, this chapter is not easily accessible to Jews. They actually skim over this chapter. They have mm -hmm. a hard time understanding that the literal chapter, if you look towards it, if you read the verses, it talks about Christ. Yeah. So it's really hard to ignore that, you know, Jesus was the Messiah. So in order to kind of ignore that, they skim through it. It is known as the forbidden chapter. So how wonderful and lucky we are that even though it may be forbidden in some cultures and religions, this is the verse that we Christians rely on when we think about God and we, when we think about Jesus Christ sacrificing exactly. himself for us. Because it's not only foretold in the Gospels and pretty much happens in the Gospels, but it was, it was foretold thousands, year, it was thousands of years ago. prophesied, right? It, because he's offering you eternal life. He died for you, he suffered for you, and he resurrected for you. And the same thing is waiting for you. Just the resurrection part, mm -hmm. because he died yeah. for you. And... In a way, yes, I will reiterate, it is a Good Friday, because so, it led to resurrection. And in two days, we're going to have resurrection. Excellent. So thank you so much for joining us on this Good Friday. Have a wonderful Good Friday or Red Friday, whatever you want to <laughs> call it. But remember to focus on Christ, focus on your Savior, and we will see you on the Resurrection Day. This Sunday, yeah. And thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful journey. Bye-bye.